Hello and welcome to AITPM News. A train door may be wide enough, but if a person cannot access the timetable information, they cannot use the train. Real success is only achieved when people are able to make the whole journey. This is a quote from Submission 48 National Disability Services that was part of a paper at the AITPM 2017 National Conference, written by Kylie Nixon, Marissa Powell and Brian Smith, all from Arab. The paper was titled The Whole Journey, A Guide for Thinking Beyond Compliance to Create Accessible Public Transport Journeys. Arup was commissioned by the Department of Infrastructure and Regional Development to produce a whole journey guide. As we heard in the keynote address at the conference, the key to transport planning is understanding people. Kylie Nixon, in her presentation, confirms this point. And obviously your journey didn't start at the stop or the train station or a ferry wharf at that. And it isn't going to end at a stop or station or a ferry, ferry wharf. It's actually going to end at a destination. And how you actually moved from that stop um, to your destination, you know, you would have moved through public or private space and using different types of infrastructure. And so when you think of that, that's what we call, you know, your whole journey, you know, going from the start to the end. And so hence this guide helps to try and unpack what that journey is all about to help promote the understanding of the experiences of the users, you know, and people who have to move within and between all those different parts of the journey. It's not just compliance to your own department's needs. Brian Smith gives a good example. Many of the things that influence whether a person can have a successful um, public transport journey if they have disability fall outside the public transport system. So they're in the public domain or that they're to do with things like an ageing population or, or other changes outside the control of the public transport network. This image is a really good example of what that means. So this is King Street, Newtown, at Newtown train station. And Transport for New South Wales worked really closely with the council to make the station highly accessible when it was redeveloped. So um, the footpath in particular to the station, which is often a barrier to, to access for some people, was carefully smoothed and, and uh, rebuilt. And after they'd constructed it, the National Utility Organisation came along and put up those little kiosks that you can see up against the building there, right in front of that elderly gentleman. So this is like a, the kind of disruption or barrier that can be created even when you're trying to, to make a, uh, an accessible journey, a whole journey, and coordinate with people. AITPM members and conference delegates can get a copy of Kylie, Marissa and Brian's paper and slide presentation from our website. 